Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, the festive season is a original link to the video top of the description. Hope you guys are doing well. My name's Connor. If you're new, I would love for you to hit all the buttons right now and join me. Let's watch. Let's go. Perfect. Eat, sleep, dream English. 15 uh, Christmas traditions British people love. I can't read. Upon us, EC. Let's go. The festive season is upon us, EC Dreamers, and Christmas is a very important time here in the UK. So today, I'm going to share with you 15 Christmas traditions that British people love. Let's go. My seltzer. I'm walking around feeling free. In the month of December, it becomes acceptable to wear terrible jumpers. And we Brits love a terrible Christmas jumper. They're bright, colorful, ugly, wonderful, all at the same time. And they're a lot of fun to wear. Now this is my new Christmas jumper. Let me show you my old Christmas jumper. Three, two, one. Better. And if you're in the UK in December, Go out, buy yourself a Christmas jumper, and join the fun. The only one I have is the Mike Tyson one, where he says Merry Christmas. All right. Pantomimes, I need to watch one. I can't tell if it's a children's thing or, like, a, an adult thing, but, like, in a children-y way. Number two, pantomimes, or pantos, as they're also known. Now, let's be honest, these are a little bit mad, if anyone not from the UK. So what they are, are musical comedy theater, um, and they're based around traditional children's stories, like Snow White or Jack and the Beanstalk. Cinderella. Story. And they're performed in theaters around the UK during Christmas time. Now, they usually star famous TV actors or singers, and they are mad, frankly, they're completely mad. So they often have pop culture references and there's a lot of interaction between the audience and the performers. So there's a lot of call and response. The audience will shout out things. Uh, it's, it's very fun, I've got to say. Last year, I went to uh, Aladdin at the Hackney Empire and yeah, it's a really good time. It's fun for all the family and it definitely gets you in the Christmas spirit. So it's and not if like you're a, in the UK during Christmas- It's not like a very serious play or anything. It's just a fun time. For all the family and it definitely gets you in the Christmas spirit. And if you're in the UK during Christmas, why not go to a pantomime? Number three, getting drunk at the office Christmas party. Christmas is a Don't great time tell me. to let your hair down and Brits love a Christmas party but sometimes they take it too far. Now, there are five clear stages to making an idiot of yourself at the Christmas party. First of all, you drink too much. Secondly, you make an idiot of yourself on the dance floor. Number three, you insult your boss. Number four, you try and kiss the social media manager. And number five, you photocopy a part of your anatomy. Then you wake up the next It sounds like he had the best night of all. Next day, wondering if you still have a job. It's a tradition <laughs> that we do every year. Unfortunately, at EC Dream English, it's just me, so there is no Christmas party. He said that so casually. Perfect. Wait, sorry. What? Unfortunately, at EC Dream English, it's just me, so there is no Christmas party. Own boss. Oh, well. Number four, Advent calendars. For the month of December, all children and some adults have an Advent calendar. There are 25 doors, and on each day, like number one, oh. on the 1st of December, you open up the door and I've there's a picture, or if you're lucky, some chocolate behind that door. Now, when I was a kid, we just had pictures. But these days, it's all about the chocolate advent calendars. Now, unlike most countries, our big day is Christmas Day, the 25th of December. But on Christmas Eve, which is the 24th of Fox? No. Minge. What's the day after Christmas, the 26th, isn't that- December. Christmas Day, the 25th of December. But on Christmas Eve, which is the 24th of December, we do have a couple of traditions. Personally, I like to do all my Christmas shopping on the 24th of December, but I don't think that's a British tradition. So yeah, I think I'm the only one. One thing that is a tradition is that all children will write a letter to Father Christmas, Father Christmas. with a list of all the presents that they want to receive. Then they will give it to their parents who might go and post that letter. Or if there is a chimney in the house, they send the letter up the chimney. And that's how Father Christmas knows what you want, of course. Then every child hangs up their stocking. This is so that Father Christmas knows where to put the present. Now, I remember when I was a kid, my mum would put this on my legs as I went to sleep. And so when I woke up, I could feel the weight of the presents on my legs. 
and I knew that Father Christmas had been. That was the most exciting. Parents are awesome. Exciting feeling in the world. We also like to put out a glass of brandy and some carrots by the fireplace or by the oh, Christmas the tree. Deer. This reindeer. is for Father Christmas and his reindeers. This gives them energy so they can go around the world giving all the children their presents. Father Christmas is going to be hammered. Everyone giving him brandy. Now, of course, most homes will have a Christmas tree. This is a Norwegian I'm spruce that you put up in your house and you decorate it with baubles, tinsel, angels, whatever you have, and lights, of course, as well. And underneath the tree, that's where you put all your presents. Now, on Christmas Day, the 20... Like here, totally a real tree, by the way. Definitely not fake. Definitely real. Right there. 25th of December, every family has their own traditions, their own things that they love to do. But one thing that everyone does is have a big Christmas dinner. This usually involves turkey, although of course other birds are eaten and vegetarian options are of course popular as well. Then you have roast potatoes and you have vegetables depending on what you want. Do you want is it just me or are vegetarians in... I feel like everyone nowadays has some sort of food allergy or something. Is it just me, or are those increasing insanely, all right? Um, where it's like, it's like you can't have a dinner. It's like, oh, well, the... never mind. Do you know what I mean? Okay. I always remember on Christmas Eve going to... Like, we would have, like, on Christmas Eve, I would go to my mom's, or we would all go to our, like, mom's relatives. And on Christmas Day, we would go to our dad's, uh, you know, my, my dad's parents' house for Christmas dinner. And the other time was, and, like, so Christmas Eve was more of, like, the fun kind of get drunk time. And then Christmas Day was more of, like, the traditional English Dinner, just because like my mom's side of the family is more crazy, I guess. <laughs> Brussels sprouts, carrots, peas, broccoli, I don't know. Then we have gravy to sort of give it some moisture. Uh, I personally like to have a Yorkshire pudding, but I know that's controversial. Uh, we also oh. have something called bread sauce, which is a sauce How made of bread. It's really quite delicious. Uh, you might have- How is that controversial? Popovers are delicious, Yorkshire pudding. Cranberry sauce as well on the side to add a bit of fruitiness and flavor. My personal favorite is a pig in blanket. What is a pig in blanket? It's a sausage wrapped in bacon. It sounds cute, but it's a pig wrapped in another pig, so maybe not that cute. And for pudding, it's traditional to have a Christmas pudding. It's kind of like a mincemeat cake with brandy sauce. Personally, I'm not that fussed about it. I'd rather have chocolate, but this is tradition. One thing you must do... When you say Christmas pudding, a fruit cake comes to mind, which I don't think I've ever had, and I, I'm not really inclined to try one. Mince meat. I gotta look up, see if I can find a video on Christmas. I'm pudding. not that fussed about it. I'd rather have chocolate, but this is tradition. One thing you must do is overeat so that you're really uncomfortable and you go and spend the rest of the afternoon on the sofa, kind of regretting right. your life choices. And that leads me into Christmas tradition number nine, which is a Christmas TV special. All the popular TV shows make special extended versions of their show for Christmas. So one fantastic example was Only Fools and Horses. They did a Heroes and Villains Christmas special. I remember Mr. Bean did a Christmas special, and this year, I think it's Gavin and Stacey. Now at three o'clock, the Queen gives her Christmas message. And this is another tradition. Some families sit down and watch this. We used to watch it before opening our presents. It's a 10 to 15 minute speech, and this is where she addresses the main issues of the year. And it's almost like an end of year review for her. She also links it to the Christmas story. Now in the 1992 speech, she used the infamous phrase, Annus Horribus. This is Latin for f that was a shit year. And it's now Jeez. become a part of spoken English because it was so iconic. Now on channel four, there is an alternative Christmas message given by someone else. So last year it was Danny Dyer. This year, I'm not sure. As I say, not every family follows the same traditions. Some families might watch the Queen's speech. Some families might not. It depends. Number 11, crackers. Now a cracker is a kind of paper cylinder that we pull apart and there is a bang. And inside you've got a little hat and a joke and maybe a toy as well. Now the key tradition here is that when you open them together as a group with your family is that you cross your arms, okay? So you're holding one cracker here and one cracker here and you pull 
and then, and then they bang, the toys fall out, the jokes go everywhere. It's a mess. It's usually done at the beginning of the meal. Then for the rest of the Christmas meal, you sit there with your paper hat, you read your terrible joke. Why do we do it? I don't know. It's tradition. Number 12, mince pies. Oh yes, a mince pie. So this is a little pie, as you can see, and inside you have mince meat, okay? So it's dried fruit, uh, and they have a little uh, dusting of sugar on as well. They're quite delicious, uh, you know. Bon appétit. Mince meat. It, it, mince meat. That, that's just like chopped up meat. I'd like some, yes, sir. <laughs> Another tradition is having Father Christmas shaped chocolate, just like this. The day after Christmas Day, the 26th of December, is known as Boxing Day. Now, it's believed that the name. I was right. I should have been more confident. After Christmas Day, the 26th of December, is known as Boxing Day. Now, it's believed that the name comes from when workers would receive Christmas boxes from their bosses. Now, these days, it's a day of shopping. So a little bit like Black Friday or Cyber Monday, people get up super early in the morning and go and queue outside their favorite store so they can Black get in Friday. early and find the best bargains. It's also a big sporting day with the Premier League taking center stage. Now, in my family, we usually eat the leftovers from Christmas Day on Boxing Day, which is really awesome because you're just having Christmas dinner again for a second time. And number 15, you must take down your Christmas tree within 12 days of christmas to be honest i find the day after thanksgiving leftover cook up and after christmas even more enjoyable because i don't have to like be polite or anything i can just chow down on as much as i want well not that i did but like just freaking what am i doing i don't know otherwise you will have bad luck for the rest of the year and what christmas otherwise oh you will have bad luck for the rest of the year. And that's not a great way to start the year. So please take down your Christmas trees. So those are the 15 Christmas traditions that British people love. If you know any other Christmas traditions that you have or that uh, exist in Britain, then please let me know in the comments below. Share what you like to do at Christmas. If your family has a particular tradition, tell me about it. I want to hear about it. All right, guys, thank you so much. This is Tom, the Chief Dreamer, wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh, it was a great video, Aspen. Um, we would, uh, on Christmas Eve, we'd, we'd have, like, and it got kind of more elaborate as the years went on, of, of, like, you know, the adults would buy a bunch of presents, like, some kids' presents and some, like, presents for uh, adults, and then as I got older, I, you kind of graduate to the ad adult one, of where you get, I forget what we called it, um... But like you, you all get all the all the presents. They they weren't really to anyone. They're just like packed in a in a giant pile. And my mom is one of nine kids, so like a ton of cousins. And um, you, you would like I forget how you did it. Like you picked a card or something, and then you could pick a present. And then the next person goes, and they can either take your present or pick a new one. It was super fun. Um, what is it? Bad Santa. Not not bad. Uh, Yankee. I forget, but that was really fun. Um, this is a cool video, guys. I'd appreciate any um, any comments at all. Uh, what you guys think? If you do stuff different, kind of what he said. I'd also love to hear it. What you guys have to say. Hope you're all doing well, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.